Welcome back to our little Mercenaries Let's Play, Mercenaries Original. And uh, we played as Zebra Chris last time. We also played as Sexy Jill Valentine. And then we also played as Chevy in her very, very sexy tribal outfit, which is one of my personal favorites. But we also unlocked this one, which I didn't even know was her. She like barely looks like her with the blonde hair. But then again, Jill's a brunette here and Jill's blonde here. And she kind of doesn't look alike either, but that nose does. <laughs> so we're going to play as this one. And um, maybe the original and another Chris. I'm not sure. We'll see what we do. <laughs> but um, yeah, we only have about maybe about two more videos left of this Mercenary series. And then we'll be completely done with Resident Evil 5. So it's exciting. I've done so much work with this. And she looks so different in this. I can't even, I can't even get a good look at her. But what gun she has. This gun looks cool. Oh, badass. But yeah, this is Morley just showing off the skins and just, you know, having some fun and just listening to me talk. I'm not really trying to get A or S on these rankings. I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun and just show it off. I'm not trying to get a whole bunch of time bonuses and make these videos really long. You know, I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun and show off these characters. So, um, let me try to get a good little look at her here. Hmm. So, damn, you can see almost right down those pants. No. So, I don't know, you can see her hips kind of good. I mean, this isn't as skimpy as the other outfit. Like, this is like a, a disguised skimpy outfit. You know, she's all in like a wig. and I don't like this one as much, though. I mean, I'm going to make a video after I finish these skins with my two, my two, my two or three favorite skins and my two or three favorite levels. I'm going to make that video here soon. But that's after we cover these skins. And that'll be the last Resident Evil video. It's going to be cool. I actually really do, I I did have a lot of frustration playing this game on the campaign mode. And I did have a little frustration unlocking these characters. Not much, not near as much as the campaign mode. But um, the thing about Mercenaries is it's really, really fun. So when you fuck up, you just play it again. And you're like, hey, I don't mind, it's fun. <laughs> but um, I think this game's really good. It has a lot of content. If you buy like the special edition that comes with all the DLC, I mean, you're pretty much fucking set. <laughs> This game has like a lot of stuff for you to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure I put over 20 hours in this game. With all the videos and mercenaries and the uh, the two DLCs and the mercenaries reunion and even the versus mode. Now the versus mode video, I don't like versus mode. It kind of wasn't cool. Like the lady got a shotgun way ahead of me and just blew us out the water. But I mean, it's still a cool idea. It's still extra stuff just to make this game even longer. So I mean, and they have new game plus. We can go and play as uh, this girl. And also heard that you can play in her skimpy outfit if you uh, unlock, I think it's 60 trophies or something like that. So you can play the story mode in her, or in her skimpy outfit. Now the thing that sucks about it is I wouldn't want to redo the story mode at all. <laughs> so once I beat it once, I'd be like, oh. Like I much rather had it where it let me play as her in her skimpy outfit at the beginning. And I did the whole let's play that way instead of Chris. That would have been so much better for me. Because I don't plan on ever playing the campaign on this again, ever. It was terrible. And it was, okay, let me rephrase it. It wasn't terrible. It was an alright campaign. But the friggin' bosses on it were really, really rough. And if you don't know how to defeat them, then you kind of get stuck for an hour trying to figure it out. Oh, that was a good little titty shot. But, uh... But I'm pretty sure if, like, if I ran through it again, I could burn through it probably half the time. But, you know... You know how it is. <laughs> so D, that was a pretty low score. But like I said, I'm not trying to do this in a high score. I'm just trying to show off these outfits a little bit and just kind of enjoy it. And this one, we'll do the prison. And we will play as boss mode Chris. This is like his original form. We already did zebra. So we'll play as this Chris. And then I guess um, I'm, that might be it. I mean, the only ones we haven't done is like normal Jill, which I don't think you really need to do. And we haven't done her in the uh, BSAA. So we might just do this, Chris, in the BSAA, and that'll be it for this. That'll be it for the, it'll just be two mercenary videos in this one. Like the reunion, I did four videos. I was having fun with that a reunion though. These are gonna, these are a lot shorter because I'm not really doing it for like high score. I wasn't doing the uh, reunion for high score either, but I was having a lot more fun with the reunion because it was the first time I played them. The cool thing about reunion is, all the characters are unlocked the moment you get the reunion. Like, and you can just start playing with them instantly. And that makes it where you can unlock all the levels within seriously like 
20 minutes. You can unlock every level in 20 minutes about. It depends. It depends. These levels are kind of long. It might take 30 or 40, but seriously, you unlock them really quick. So I do like that one better. Like on this one, I had to I had to really work hard to unlock these characters, but I'm showing them less because it was it was hard to do. I don't know. It's hard. It's, I don't even know why I'm showing them less. It's just there's not that many characters I want to show off. I definitely think the uh, reunion was better. I do like this. The, I mean, the only thing that's better is the, the the skimpy bow and arrow girl, the tribe. That's the only one that's better. The the rest, the characters on reunion are better. They're definitely better. So I mean, you get this with the game once you beat the game anyway. So it's not like you have a choice. It's not like hey, get this or get the uh, reunion. Because I'm pretty sure reunion's a DLC. So, oh shit, see this guy right here? He is why this level sucks. Now that guy, for real, he is why this level sucks. <laughs> Instead of actually getting points and stuff, you're just being chased by him the entire time. He's fast, too. He don't play. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I definitely like the reunion better, and uh, we'll be having a little more footage of the reunion and a little bit more footage of this one. I'm going to, like, kind of combine them in the last video and do, like, a face-to-face -face video as the last video so we can just have a good little goodbye to the mercenaries. I don't know. Like, if you guys really request me to post more after I post it all, I'll definitely do more. I mean, I don't care, but... As all that I'm going to actually just post about people actually asking me is going to be the next this video and the next video, and that'll be the last mercenary video. I mean, cause I'm done. I'm done with Resident Evil 5. I covered everything. I mentioned this in the last video, so if you watched it, sorry I'm repeating myself, but you know, I did campaign. I did the versus mode, which I don't really like, but it's something. I did the two DLCs. I did the mercenary reunion DLC, and I'm doing right now the last bit of the original mercenaries. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. I enjoy it. I like Mercenaries a lot. I mean, uh, what really got me into this game is playing Mercenaries 3DS. And also, I like I like the Mercenaries Reunion better than the one for 3DS as well, to be honest. The Mercenaries Reunion was freaking epic. They knew what people wanted in that one. I mean, it's mainly because the big titty girl, which we'll show in the next, the last part, she's like the fucking bomb. And they also have the, I actually like the Chris that's like so overpowered, he has like a death machine. He's fucking badass, like he is really great. It's, oh, that's why, see how much he was fucking following me? I didn't even notice behind me. I hate that guy. That's why this mission's so damn, I'm gonna die here, this is it. I mean it's okay, like I said, I'm not really trying to do anything big, I'm just, I'm just kind of playing to be honest. So see that right there, that right there is why I don't like prison level. That freaking guy man what is the executioner but he's like he's like a red executioner which is the hardest ones in the map what am i doing this kidding off. me i did not mean to redo son <laughs> so we will show off one more skin and then we'll be done with the mercenaries original for 3ds wait 3ds what am i playing we're playing xbox <laughs> yeah the original for resident evil 5 that is god i love having them all that would be like a really cool background now, I'm sorry, but look in the upper right-hand corner. Bow and arrow girl. She's so fine. Her tits are so big in that. Now, look at her down here in the purple compared to her in the fucking bow and arrow. They made her tits so much bigger. All right, we're going to do one more level. Let's go ahead and just do... Do we do the auto fit of ruins yet? Or do we do the valley? I think we did the ruins. So we're going to do the, the village, village. And we're going to just do her original costume. And this will be the last one for Resident Evil 5 Original Mercenaries. Not 3DS. <laughs> we already covered a 3DS. If you want to see a 3DS Resident Evil Mercenaries, type in 3DS Resident Evil Mercenaries in my search for videos bar, and you'll be able to find it pretty quick. There are a lot of videos. Though. I think I have a review. I have like a full Let's Play. I do every single level of every single character. So, I mean, there's like a lot of videos for the Mercenaries 3DS if you guys are interested in seeing the differences. If I do end up getting the Mercenaries 3DS again, which I want to get it, but I'm not going to be able to pay for it full price. If I get it on sale or something, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of this game. And if you guys really want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of Resident Evil 5 and 3DS Mercenaries, then um, uh, you can donate 40 bucks to my PayPal and I'll get Resident Evil Mercenaries for 3DS and I'll do it for you. <laughs> but that's the only way I'm gonna end up doing that until I actually get it. So if you guys really want it, you can donate and I'll do it. 
But if not, then that's cool. Because, you know, that's a lot. I just don't have the money to buy that game. I rented it. I could rent it again, though. I just don't have Gamefly anymore, so. <laughs> we'll see what happens. If you guys really request it, I'll try to get it. I just wish I had some older footage, you know? Maybe I'll download one of my videos and do it. I just think it'd just be cool to do like a side by side comparison of the two games. Just to see how different they look. I mean, I wouldn't even make it too long. It'd be like a two, three minute video. What am I doing? Like, when I'm talking like this, I don't play half as good. I mean, you know, it's her original, it's it's original outfit. There's really nothing special about it. It's not like your awesome skimpy one. But this is another level that's actually not in the original. Or not the original, but this is another level that's not in the Mercenaries 3DS. So that's cool. I really wish they would have added these levels, but to be honest, I don't know if they have any levels that aren't in Resident Evil 5 Mercenaries. It's because I, 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 you know, I played Mercenaries 3DS first. So it's hard for me to tell. But there are different levels that I haven't seen before in, in, in this. Oh, and also, if you guys are wondering, there are no different levels between this and the Reunion Mercenaries. They're all the same levels, they're just different characters. Y'all be damned if that wasn't just complete ponage. I just took out like freaking five of them. That was complete ponage. <laughs> so you guys, I showed off all the outfits. Well, all the outfits I pretty much wanted to show. I didn't want to show off the glasses guy, and I think I missed Jill's original outfit. But, um... I mean, yeah, it's pretty much it. I think we're gonna go ahead and end this video here in a second. I mean, just for the sake of saying I did, you know his original outfit. I played a whole Let's Play, but you don't have to see it. But I'll go ahead really quick and just do like a little two-minute GIF, little two-minute run of Jill's Resident Evil, I think, one? Was it Resident Evil 1? Outfit. So actually, she has like, she has brunette hair in this one. That's the one thing that I haven't even played this yet. But that's the one thing that really threw me off. And like story mode, it showed Jill and I was like, that doesn't look like a Jill I remember. And I just thought because it was so bad pixels in Resident Evil, you know, the originals when it had Jill. Dude, her ass is so fat in this. Holy shit. But I just thought it was bad pixels. But then I was like, it's not bad pixels. She's a fucking blonde. Like when did she dye her hair blonde in Resident Evil 5? Like, it's funny because you do the uh, the Nightmare DLC and it shows kind of how... It kind of shows how she got kidnapped. It doesn't really. Spoilers, spoilers. In that particular part, like, she goes flying out the window with the bad guy and that just ends. It doesn't show how he kidnapped her or anything. But... I mean, that's a little spoilers. I'm not saying how anything happened. Those are little spoilers. Not too much. But, um... You guys probably played this game already. But, um... She's like a blonde in this game. And in her original, as you see, she's a brunette. So, I mean, that really threw me off when I first saw her. And she's a brunette with a fucking hat on. Pigtails. God, that ass look good. I'm actually in this one. She doesn't really show too much skin. Just, she got a fat ass. Like I said, it's just the original outfit. It's all it really is of her brunette hair. I just wonder why they changed her hair to blonde instead of brunette. I don't know. Maybe the guy that made Resident Evil 5 had a little thing for blondes instead of brunettes, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to try not to give you more time. I don't just want to cut the video off. We'll go ahead and get it through, just in case you really want to see some some of this. But I'm not really know why I'm really... I'm just showing off these skins, really. <laughs> you know? It's not like we're showing off some fantastic Let's Play of Mercenaries that you must watch. This definitely is a Let's Play, but it's not like some high score shit. Don't get the time up here. I already got that one, didn't I? It's such a habit to get the times. I'm so used to it. What else I have that I can use? Nothing. <laughs> I was hoping I had like some grenades. I didn't. This level is one of the hardest to unlock Jill. Uh, yeah, this is the one you. This is the level you unlock this this skin in, like this Resident Evil One Jill. Like you have to get A on this level to unlock it, and this was it was a pain in the ass. I did it with the bow and arrow girl, but it was kind of hard. It feels so good though when you hit 40 and you know you've done it. Did you have to get 40 grand and when you hit it, or 40,000 when you actually hit it, you're like, yes, I fucking did it. I'm the shit. Let's wait 20 more, 20 more seconds. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here probably. Let them all take it to the chest. 
I love how these guns like never really reload. <laughs> I seriously should do this mercenary stuff first. Like when I was, uh, instead of the let's play when I was recording, because I learned how to shoot so much better playing this game. And I was like, I was such a noob when I started off the let's play Resident Evil. I feel if I uh, did it now, I'd burn through it in half the time and I'd be so much better. But anyway, that's it. This is kind of a long video, 15 minutes, 16 minutes. But uh, that was the last footage of our Mercenaries Let's Play. I'm going to do one more video of my two favorite characters and that'll be it. So thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later. Peace.